In this video, we're going to look at how to add images to your theme. We know it's possible to add a logo via the Theme Settings page. Find this under Appearance, Themes, and the Settings page for your theme. You can upload and manage your logo file here. Don't forget to click Save Changes, if necessary. That's good if we just want the logo at the top of our theme. But what if we want more images? Let's look at adding a background image to the whole page via the body tag. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our images are located within the pics subdirectory of our theme. Now we need to add the background image property to the CSS of our theme. Open your style sheet or lease file in your favourite code editor. Then we can add the background to the body. Moodle uses this special syntax to add images to your theme via the CSS. Here we're saying that the image is coming from the pics folder and it's called background. Be careful to add any subdirectory to the file name. You don't need to include the file extension. Moodle searches for your image based on its file name with the extensions of GIF, PNG, JPG and JPEG. Moodle will search in that order, which means if you have background GIF, and a background PNG, the GIF file will be used. If we save this, then go back to Moodle to refresh the page. We can see that the background image now appears. Images can be added to any area of the Moodle page. Let's add a small colourful logo to the footer. Check that we have the logo in the pics directory of our theme folder. In our style sheet, find the page footer and add the background image information. Then save changes. Again we reload the page in Moodle and there we see the logo in the footer. We can also add images directly into the layout files, however the code is slightly different. Let's add an image to appear at the top right of the header. Remember to make sure your image is located in the pics folder of your theme directory. In your code editor, open the relevant layout file. I'm going to add this image to Columns 3 layout. Once I've tested it and I'm happy, I'll add it to Columns 1 and Columns 2 as well. I'm going to add a new div to hold the image. This will allow me to style where I'd like this image to be located. This is the code required to add an image to your theme via a layout file. You'll notice it's different from the code we use in the style sheet. Remember the file extension is not needed. If we save this layout file, then refresh our Moodle page, we can see this image appears on our page. The next step is to position the image in the style sheet, as you would any other element. If we experiment using the inspector, we can copy our styles to our style sheet. I'll just use this for now as a demonstration. So if we copy these styles, then in our style sheet, add the styles, then save changes, then we can reload our page knowing those changes will be saved. Once we're happy, remember to copy this line into the other layout files where it's needed. And we're done. Remember the colours used in this theme are for demonstration purposes only.